beautiful day Let's call into work And we'll go out and play, sweet darling Cause I've got nothing but time on my hands I just wanna spend a little time with my man, sweet darling Okay, so I'm here with Angus Webb. Angus, how were you first introduced to the idea of eco-hydraulics? Um, it was through this conference, actually. Um, 2012 meeting in, in Vienna. Uh, I, I, I followed my supervisor, Mike Stewartson, over there and, um, and was introduced to a really good bunch of people, a really good bunch of ideas, some, some interesting research and a fantastic community, and I've been a, a participant ever since. What's an example of an eco-hydraulics research article that influenced your research? I'd have to say it's um, moving up in scales. So um, a lot of people are starting to talk about network scale processes and I've had a, a, an abiding interest in, in networks of river channels um, Put that badly. Um, that the structure of river channels and how that interacts with the small-scale processes to drive ecological and other environmental outcomes. And so um, I, was, I was introduced to that idea first through a paper by Evan Grant from the um, he's from the USGS now, 2007 in Ecology Letters, which was a paper called Living in the Branches. Uh, it was about the it was a review on on, on network-scale approaches to rivers and. I don't actually think of it as an eco-hydraulics paper, but it really made me sort of think in this area a lot more about the, the processes underlying the systems and how they work. <laughs> Sounds good. Mm. Um, what's an eco-hydraulics project you're working on right now? Right now it's mostly around environmental flows monitoring. Um, we are um, monitoring outcomes from Murray-Darling Basin Plan, uh, spending a lot of money uh, looking at fish and vertebrates, uh, uh, ecosystem processes through metabolism, uh, and I'm running one of the monitoring programs there, and one of the things we're really seeking to do is to link the hydraulics of the river environment to the, uh, the ecological outcomes, and uh, we're having some success there, and we're, we're really promoting these ideas across the wider uh, uh, long-term intervention monitoring program across the whole basin and we're hoping that those ideas will be taken up in the, the next round of monitoring which should be starting in two years time. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. mm -hmm. And looking to the future, what's an eco-hydraulic topic that you think future generations will be better positioned to address? Yeah, I think it's scale. Um, so. There's been a, a bit of discussion at this meeting about eco-hydraulics perhaps being a, a small-scale um, uh, field of research, but uh, I don't necessarily agree. I know that a lot of work's gone on at small scales. What I like to think is that we'll be able to take this uh, like very physically processed-based approaches at this micro-scale and somehow better uh, link that with the type of work that stream ecologists have been doing for the last 50 years, which is more at the sort of reach and, and, and macro reach scale and, and very empirical science, and then go up further than that, further than that again to this sort of whole catchment scales where we're starting to use remote sensing information uh, and large scale modelling approaches. If we can if we can reconcile across those scales, then we'd really have a good handle on how these systems work. Right. Yeah. And is there anything else you wish to add? I suppose the only thing would be um, one of the other debates we've been having this week is the difference between eco-hydraulics and eco-hydrology and if there is one and I, I think um, I, I'm in the camp that it doesn't really matter that it's about the interaction of, of water and life uh, and, and how they affect each other and uh, how we can understand those processes better to, to better manage and, 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 and restore these systems as we move into the, the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, thank All you right. very much. Thanks very much, Greg.